Hello champions, I am Chandan Biswas and in this video we are going to learn something about stereoisomerism. So stereoisomerism is a specific type of isomerism which arises due to difference in the arrangement of atoms around a stereocenter. Now what can be a stereocenter? A stereocenter can be either a double bond, it can be a ring, it can be an asymmetric carbon atom. So these things include a stereocenter. So therefore based on this we divide stereoisomerism into three major parts. First one is the geometrical isomerism, the second one is optical isomerism and the third one is conformational isomerism. Let's try to have a look at all the three different isomerism one by one. The first one is geometrical isomerism. Geometrical isomerism arises in any compound due to restriction of rotation around any particular double bond or around a ring structure. In such a case, the compound will have forms like these two. So here we can see that the carbon on both of them have a double bond and therefore the bond is very difficult to rotate because double bonds are not easily twistable. So the atoms here will be aligned in that, that way. Let's take an example here. This is CAB. A, B. So we can see that A and A lie on the same side of the double bond which means that we, this type of form is known as cis form of any compound. If we have to change the compound as this C, A, B, B, A, in that case we see that the A and A are on the opposite side which means this type of compound is known as trans stereoisomer. So this type of arrangement can arise in a, ring, a double bond as you can see. Let's see another example which is this, as we can see that this is a cyclopropane ring on which we have two adjacent bonds which have A, B, A, B. So A and A, they lie on the same side of the carbon-carbon ring, so therefore this type of form is called cis and the other one, since the bonds lie on the opposite side, this will be called as trans molecule. So cis trans isomerism is what we are talking about in geometrical isomerism. The next type of isomerism is optical isomerism. In optical isomerism, we see that certain compounds in organic chemistry exist in such a way that they can rotate a plane polarized light into either right or the left direction. In such cases, we say that the optical isomerism arises. And such type of isomerism arises specifically in those carbons which have this kind of arrangement. A specific three carbon which has four bonds and these four bonds are either attached to the same different atoms or different group of atoms. If any carbon like that exists in a compound, it is called to be optically active and this compound will have a mirror image of this same compound and therefore these two will be called optical isomers. They look very same but they are not exactly the same because their most physical properties are same except one thing which is the optical isomerism or optical rotation in this case. So these type of compounds will show optical isomerism. For example, we have uh, two chlorobutane. As we can see, two chlorobutane. In this case, the second carbon we have a hydrogen atom, one chlorine atom, one methyl group and one ethyl group. So therefore, all the four groups are different. Therefore, this compound can show optical isomerism. Optical isomerism can be of two types. One of those compounds will be rotating the plane polarized light to the right. So therefore we call it dextrorotatory. And one other one, which is the mirror image, this will ride right to the left of it. So we call it the levorotatory compound. So both uh, optical isomerism will be existing as uh, dextro and levo type of compounds. And the third one is conformational isomers. Conformational isomers are not really true isomers, but what happens here is that the single bond rotation, as we can see in this case, as which is uh, ethane, as we can see that, the CC single bond is able to rotate on its own, and this rotation causes uh, different types of arrangement between the two opposite faces of carbon. For example, uh, the above one is called the eclipsed form because every bond eclipses another one and the other one which is called staggered form. So therefore, eclipse staggered are some of the examples by which any conformations can be shown. However, the number of conformations for any given compound can range to infinite number due to difference in angles as we can see here. So uh, that's all about stereosomerism, uh, the basics. I'll see you in the next one.